How's it going everyone? I'm Adam Molina. New York based company Master and Dynamic recently released a new pair of headphones, the MW50 wireless on-ears. We got a chance to check them out, but we were also able to sit down with their CEO Jonathan Levine to talk about them, along with a few other things here at CES. Enjoy. Well, we call this actually the mo the mobile modern thinking mobile, cap. Right. Mobile, because okay. it's a little bit more, uh, lighter, mm -hmm. more compact. Um, and we took everything that we learned in building what we consider, and most people consider an amazing over-ear yeah. wireless headphone, the MW60, which we launched last year. Um, and we took everything we learned, and I think we even improved on it. Uh, lighter weight, beryllium coated drivers, um, dual mic array for, for better uh, noise isolation in the microphone, mm -hmm. um, comfort, fit. Um, I'm, not, I'm not downplaying our MW60, no. <laughs> but I, I think, you know, as an as a on-ear, more of an over-ear person myself, um, uh, I think we've really made a, an amazing on-ear mm -hmm. that, that both men and women um, will, will enjoy using. And I think we're seeing that right now. Yeah. Yeah, that that's always, I mean, that's definitely a part of, um, I've always been a fan of architecture and design and materials um, uh, and sort of an industrial uh, vibe as well. Mm -hmm. I collect, you know, I collect uh, watches, I collect cameras, I collect bicycles, you know, just great pieces of equipment and machinery. Uh, and so that sort of has found its way into into the headphones. Some people, there's sort of a retro look yeah. on some of them. Uh, on other ones, they've become more modernized, particularly in the in the wireless product that we make. But we purposely, in the MW50, we purposely brought back that great mesh uh, uh, touch mm -hmm. and detail that people love from the MH40. We brought it back in here. And one thing I'm particularly proud of, and I really strive to, uh, and I'm not com I'm not knocking any of my competitors, but what you find in the, uh, many times in the headphone category is that a brand will take a, a particular form factor and they'll either um, blow it up or shrink it down to be an on ear or an over ear or something like that. And that's how they you know, that's their design process. And our in our design process, each product has its has a, the DNA theme from Master Dynamic, the great materials. Um, and the details, but yet each one is its own individual design. So if you held them all together, you'd see the pattern, but yet each one has its own um, it, its own effort. And I think that's what's important for us is that, and I think that's why the consumer is connecting with Master Dynamic in, in many ways, is because I think they see the effort that we put into our products. And I think um, it, it's showing it, it's showing in our in our sales and in our yeah. in our and 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 people and the brand awareness. It's really exciting for us. Awesome. So you mean so you know in all of our headphones, you know when we when we launched the MH40 and the MH30, the the uh, corded products, mm -hmm. we have dual ports so you can daisy chain, yeah. uh, which people love. Um, and um, and in this product, in our MW60 and MH, uh, MW50, we have the ports you can plug it in and bypass the battery, whether you're on a plane or just don't want to use your battery life. I think we'll always I think we'll always have it. I guess uh, I, I, I'm a uh, you know I'm a sort of a I'm a tactile freak. I, I love you know. So for me, while we're marching quickly ahead for wireless and we're on the front end of it, um, I still love. Pulling, I you know, our, if you look at our cords, they're all woven, and mm -hmm. even the the, the K, every piece is metal and and knurling. I think people still appreciate being able to plug in and grab a great, you know, a, a nice cold piece of metal. And I think we'll always strive to give people that option. Um, just that's I feel pretty strongly about that. You're good at this. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> It's an interesting. It's an interesting question. Um, we don't. We really, as a as a company, um, you may find this strange, but when we develop a product, we don't develop it with a price point in mind. We develop it in what we want to do, what materials we want to use, and then we figure out the pricing afterwards, which is a little bit backwards, but it seems to be working for us. Um, so. Uh, uh, it really, it's really driven by the product. So if I can make, here's what I'll say to you, if I can make 
an exceptional uh, hundred dollar sub hundred dollar product. Uh, I'm guessing it would have to be an in ear at this point, <laughs> and not compromise my materials and my design and my details. I have no problem with it. Yeah, it'll probably. I don't see it happening in the next in 2017 for sure. <laughs> um, so you're not going to miss anything yeah. in between. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can keep up with all of our news and updates here at CES 2017.